Hello, everyone. Welcome back. Hope you're all doing well. Uh, in this video, we will be looking at custom SQL queries in Tableau. So when we connect to any relational database from Tableau, like Microsoft Access or MySQL Server, Oracle Server, PostgreSQL Server. So when you get connected to any sort of a relational database, we, we will get the option to write a custom SQL query. Okay, so now I'll connect to an access database, Microsoft Access. I have one data source called as sample coffee chain of type Microsoft Access. It is a MDB. Now I'm going to use the open button and connect to it. So the path has come. I'll click on the open button again. And when we connect to any data source, we know that Tableau takes us to the data source page where we configure the connection. Here we can see multiple tables are present in this particular data source. Generally, how do we uh, bring data from tables? Drag and drop, right? So I'll have to drag and drop fact table. And then to open the join area, we double click on it. Then we put in the remaining tables inside that box. And Tableau will automatically detect the common fields, the join clause, and it will perform the join. This is what we know. Now, when we do this, Behind the scenes, Tableau is actually writing a query to fetch the data corresponding to the tables that we bring here. So if you see in this connection with three tables, there are in total 24 fields and 4,248 rows. Okay, now let's see what is the query which Tableau has written. And this will be possible only when we are connected to relational databases. How do we know whether we are connected to a relational database or to any other type of database? So here in your data source page, if you find the option new custom SQL, it means you're connected to a relational database because only when we are connected to relational databases, we get to see this option. Okay. So how do we see the query which Tableau has written? You go to the data option on the menu. From there, you need to select the option convert to custom SQL. Tableau shows us the query that it has written in order to fetch whatever data it has brought from all of these tables. So what did it do? You can see here that it is selecting all of these columns from all of these tables, certain from location table, certain columns from fact table, certain columns from product table, by performing an inner join on fact table and location table, where the join clause is area code, inner join on fact table and product table, where the join clause is the product ID field. Okay, this one. So this is what Tableau has done. This is the query which Tableau has written in order to give us the data. Okay, now let's say you don't want to do the drag and drop. You directly would like to write the query itself. Rather than dragging and dropping the tables, how do we directly write the query? Simply double click on the new custom SQL option. Here you will get the option to write a query. So rather than selecting all the columns, 22 columns, I'm going to just fetch a certain set of columns. As you can see, I would, I'm interested only in the area code, product ID, the product in which state it is sold and what is the profit. That's it. I don't want 22 columns. So I'm writing a statement that is going to fetch only these columns. Join clause is the same. We are performing an inner join between fact table and location on the area code field fact table and product on the product ID field. That remains the same. So now look at the amount of data retrieved. Tableau has fetched only the seven fields that I asked for and all the 4,248 rows meeting that requirement. Now I'm going to make another change here. How do we edit the query? Okay, we've written a query and Tableau has fetched the data corresponding to the query, but how do we change it? How do we modify it or update it, make some uh, you know, put in some additional clauses if necessary. So you go to the query itself. And when you click on the drop down icon on this pop up menu, there's an option to edit the custom SQL query. Once you select that option, Tableau gives you the custom SQL query window. Now we can make some changes here if required. I'm going to put a where clause where I need these columns where the profit. Okay where the profit is greater than 400. So we can see the information in the profit column. Different transactions have 
given us different profit to this business. So I would like to look at only those transactions which have given the business more than $400 of profit. So I've put a simple where condition here. Once I click on OK, you will notice the data gets updated. So it is no longer 4,000 odd records. It is just 40 rows which have met the condition that we've set up. If you observe the profit column, all the records have a profit of more than 400. So that is how we write SQL queries in Tableau. The option to write a custom SQL query will come up only when you are connected to relational databases. If you're connected to non-relational databases, you will not see this option. Instead, it will show up as new union. Okay, so I hope you'll understood how and from where do we get the option to write a custom SQL query, how to go about it and fetch only the data that is required. Once you have the data in place, you can go to the worksheet and create whatever type of chart you might want to create. Let's say profit from various states, where the profit is more than $400. That's the condition we've given here. All right, so thank you all so much. I hope this video was helpful and uh, please do like, share and leave your comment if you have any feedback for me. Thank you all, bye-bye.